and we were learning how to speak in good manner to people. You know, there's many people here, they are rude. They call people names. We Muslims, we don't call you names. It's true we call you dog or a pig, but you deserve it. It's true we call you filthy, dirty, najis, kafir, animal, but we did not lie. It's true. We are the people who are following the light of Allah Prophet. The Prophet who says to the one who he don't like, go and buy the penis of your father. What's wrong with that? He is a son and he is going to buy the penis of his father. Nothing wrong with that. Please learn good manner before we start. Are utter fools, ignoramuses. Just listen to them and you know that they are utter giants. So exactly. Let us now talk about the topic for today. You know, we have a prophet. His name is a prophet Muhammad, as you know, he's very famous and he have a lot of features. You know, like, I mean, when you buy a product, uh, the first description, as an example, the, the microphone I bought here, uh, when I bought it, uh, it says like this microphone speak languages. Like as an example, now I'm speaking to you in Arabic, but you hear me in English, in case you do not know. Because my, you know, and actually uh, the Muslims even, do not, they say I don't even speak Arabic. And there's a, one of them, he made a video, says, hey, uh, Mimi Hijabi asked Christian Prince to read the Quran. <laughs> and he did not read the Quran. So Christian Prince do not know how to read the Quran. Bingo. <laughs> Today, we will show you how the Prophet is a very special person. There is many religions, many beliefs, but none of them have such a Prophet. His followers defend him, not by answering him, but by calling people dogs, filthy pigs, whatever. They cannot answer, they can explain anything, and, you know. One of the features of Prophet Muhammad that he can see you forward, backward. Once uh, a Muslim uh, sheikh, he was speaking about the miracle of Isa. And he said, there is a misconception about the miracle of Isa, that Isa have a special miracles and Muhammad don't. And he started counting many miracles. He did not count this one, but you know, many stupid things. As an example, Muhammad, he walk, when he walk in the sand, he don't leave any marks on the sand. And when he walk in the rocks, his feet go down in the rock. If you remember, there's a picture of uh, uh, what is called the footstep of uh, Adam in Sri Lanka. And the Muslim, they say, this is Adam. He was walking, really, and, you know. And they are saying Muhammad is no less. So Adam, when he walk, let me, let me search for the picture so you can see what I'm talking about. Give me a second. Soon we will open our sky for Muslims. Uh, footprint of Prophet Adam. <clears throat> All right, we found it. Here we go. Now, obviously, this is a, this is a, a Buddha temple, and the Muslims, as usual, they hike, hi, hijack anything. I don't know what is that. I mean, whatever it is, something stupid. Uh, if you read in the top, it says the size of foot uh, of a Prophet Adam as footprint. Hmm. 
And the Muslim now they are fighting with the Buddhist in Sri Lanka about this temple. The Muslim they want to hijack it and take it as everything. And they say because Muhammad he said when Adam he land down from the heaven with the parachute. Uh, the first place he stepped in it was Sri Lanka and then he started looking for his, his, his beloved wife Eve and then he found her in Jeddah. I mean, don't ask me how Muhammad he come with this story. The only explanation that Islam is very rooted to Hindu and Buddhist belief. So Muhammad and the Muhammad and they believe that the, the origin of Islam is coming from Sri Lanka. And they have a lot of crazy stuff like, you know, so Adam, he come down to this earth. Why his footstep is there? Why only one footstep? Like what? He, he, he was a kangaroo. Uh, even kangaroo have two foot. Why there's only one foot? What happened to this other foot? You know, I mean, I mean, stupidity is amazing. I mean, what you can say, you know, when you are a stupidity, that's it. You know, there's nobody can help you. Nobody can fix you. So this is the footstep of Adam, and now you have to believe, and the Muslims, they have to pray to Allah. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, our prophet Adam, for your footstep. But for the sake of God, what happened to the second shoe? The prophet Adam was naked when he came to this earth. He had no shoes, brother. Uh, but okay, so he stepped in the ground. So where is the, th the second step? Okay. Don't you see there is something missing? So there's only one step, like what? He, he stand there, he never moved with one, one foot? Anyway, this is Muhammadan belief. Now we go to the story of Muhammad, the prophet who can see behind him. It says here, God messenger led us in a prayer one day. And when he finished his prayer, he faced us and he said, Oh, people. Uh, no, he did not say that. Hold on. I think I'm mistaken. I think he said something like this. That they are utter jahil. So do you understand why it is insulting for someone like me to have to get involved with such a crowd? Yeah, someone like you, I mean, you are God coming from heaven, you know. <laughs> someone like me go down to like them, like, come on. Like, hello. <laughs> like, I mean, and the Muhammadan, by the way, they are very humble. Someone like me to answer someone like them. And that's deep. So, yes, sir, Kadudi. I want you to help us here in this case about your prophet. He can see behind him. So your prophet, he says, O people, O people, I am your imam. So don't, so don't bow, prostrate yourself and stand or go away before I do. For I see you both in front of me and behind me. And since then, the Muhammad, and they keep saying that Muhammad, he can see in his back and his front, which means he have three eyes. Who is a Muslim here agreeing that Muhammad, he have three eyes? And how Muhammad can see the back and the front? Uh, Fatima said, America, Europe, Australia are implementing blasphemy law. They call it anti-Islamophobia law. Uh, Fatima, let me tell you the bad news. Get lost. You and the law you are talking about doesn't count for us. And the proof I am here. Use your law if you can against me. And we are not Islamophobia. We are spanking Muhammad, and this is our right to spank him. He's a filthy coward, son of Muta. He was born four years after his father's death. He had knowledge of nothing. He called Christians and Jews pigs and monkeys. And we have the right to make him shish kebab. So go and do your best. <clears throat> so now, uh, since Muhammad, he said that, the Muslims believe that Muhammad, he have three eyes. And I want to know today, who of you Muslims can support this idea that Muhammad really have three eyes? Any Muhammadan? Who 
is a Muhammadan here believe that Muhammad can see in his back? Did Muhammad lie when he said that or he is telling the truth? I'm going to open my Skype, you know, give me a second. And I want to see how many Muslims really believe in such a lie Muhammad he's, he claimed. A person who can see in his back and his front, for sure he is not a normal person. Nobody can deny that. Nobody can see in his back. Muhammad, he can. So, is Muhammad a human? Is he um, like us? If he is like us, how come he have better feature than Allah himself? Can Allah see his back? My Skype is open, if anyone would like to text me so I can call him, Muslims only. Can Allah see like Muhammad? Can he see his back? Any Muslim can help us? How he see? Muhammad, he said, that Allah has two eyes. And his eyes is in the front. So how come Muhammad he have better feature than Allah? Any Muhammadan? Who is a Muslim would like to call us and tell us if Muhammad was lying, just trying to make them fear him, that he is a beast or something? Or he is telling the truth, maybe? Any Muhammadan? Until now I see nothing in Skype. Let's see. If we go to the Muslims, those who call themselves sheikhs, uh, you know, they have, uh, they answer the Muslims about many questions like, do Allah have two eyes? And for sure, they confirm, yes, Allah have two eyes. And we can, you know, show you many reference proving that. So imagine we have God who made Muhammad have two eyes. And he don't have eyes in his back, which means he can see only the front. Uh, we can't find this one here in the English website. Let's see if we can find the different one. <clears throat> Let us see this hadith. Here we go. Uh, is that the one? Look like here we could not find it too. Let us see where we can find this one. See, this is the problem always, you know, not everything in Islamic, you know, calendar or library, sorry, library, is exist in English. But we can find it. Here we go. <clears throat> This is a website called Adurar Sunniya, which means the Sunni Jews. Look at the Jews, brother. Look at the Jews. And we can use Google Translation.
all those translations here. Let us see. Translate to Google. English. Um, yeah, you see his, his, the translation is really horrible here. It doesn't even show anything of what we are saying. <clears throat> uh, let us see, I didn't see the word I. Let us go to the second one. Okay, here it says that when he, when a, when a servant of us, he pray, he stand be, between the eye, the two eyes of Allah. Aynayhi, two eyes. Two eyes. And there is many examples anyway, that Allah have two eyes. As if you remember when Muhammad, he compared between the false Messiah, the Antichrist supposedly, the Muslim they don't have really Antichrist. Uh, but they fabricate in translation, they say the Antichrist. In fact, he is the false Messiah, al Messiah al-Dajjal, or the, the, the Messiah, uh, the scammer or the liar, you know. <clears throat> uh, and there is tons of hadith about this false Messiah, Muhammad he came with. Endless. I mean, this guy, he keep talking about it. Uh, and then Muhammad, he described how Allah looked like and how this false Messiah he looked like. And he told the Muslims to a way to find the differences between your Allah and the false Messiah is one eye. Both they have two eyes. But one of them, which is the false Messiah, uh, he have a, a, a one eye is damaged. as we see in the Sahih Hadith here. And here you notice that the false Messiah is a person who is a man, and Muhammad is comparing him uh, to Allah, and he is afraid that the Muslim might think that he is Allah, which is very stupid to, you know, to say, unless Muhammad, he is confirming that his God, Allah, is a man too. But you will notice, he said, if you are confused about him, Know that your Lord is not one-eyed. So, Muslims will be confused about the false Messiah, which is a man, claiming to be the true Messiah. And Muhammad is afraid that he, or the Muslims, they will be confused. So he said, I have told you so much about the Dajjal. Again, there is no Antichrist. The Dajjal, the Dajjal is... The word means the liar, the scammer, the fake, etc. Uh, somebody who would do it for profession, you know, like to, to lie. Uh, that I'm afraid that you may not understand that the Dajjal again, not the Antichrist, the false Messiah. And here you see how fake their translation is. It says, Al Masih al Dajjal. You notice here in Arabic, for those who speak Arabic, it says, Inna Masih al Dajjal, not Al Masih. And that again proved that the Messiah is God. Why? Because in Arabic, when you add, you see, you never heard a Muslim saying Al Muhammad, right? Al Muhammad. They say Muhammad. But when we speak about the Messiah in Arabic, we say Al Masih. Here, because this Messiah is a false Messiah, there's no Al. L start only uh, before names, which is unique, like God name. El Masih, Allah, you know, uh, etc. But you don't say El Musas, you don't say El Abraham, you don't say El Muhammad, you don't say any of that. Only, and when it's come to the Messiah, you say El Masih. So the Masih. The Messiah. Uh, there is somebody who want to try to take his identity, and this person, according to Muhammad, he can cut you two pieces and he put you together. As simple as that. He can order the ground 
to bring gold and silver and diamond and the ground will obey. So Muhammad now, after he told all those things to his people, he is afraid that the Muhammadan, they will be very confused. And they might believe that the false Messiah is Allah. And here you ask yourself, how the comparison work? If Allah is not a man anyway, so how they will be confused? Obviously Allah is a man. I think we have somebody trying to call us, a Muslim maybe. Let us see if we can take him. So we can discuss how Muhammad, he have three eyes. Give me a second. <laughs> Let us see if you will answer. And help us to, to understand. He did not answer. Okay, well, we wait until we have another Abdul to talk to us. Going back to the story of Muhammad having three eyes. The Quran says, that Muhammad did not know the unseen, and he is a normal person like everybody. An unseen can be something I cannot see, can be something nobody can see at all, not only me. But here in this case, uh, Muhammad. In chapter 6, verse number 50, he made it clear that, you know what, I know nothing about God. I do not know his treasure. I don't even have knowledge of the unseen. And I say not unto you, I am an angel. So he doesn't see. How he can see his background if Allah himself cannot see the back he have two eyes in the front Muhammad he have no knowledge of something he cannot see neither he's an angel who have a special features but yet Muhammad he can see with a third eye in his back any Muhammad I can explain uh, history of the Prophet. My friend, we heard you, trust me. Okay, there is no need to repeat the same thing. In Indonesia now, you want me to put it for you on the screen? My friend, trust me, we, we saw it, we saw it. There's no need to repeat a hundred times. We thank you for, you know, telling us. But there's no need to repeat the same thing. All right? Uh, I will put it for you on the screen. Here we go. Guys, did you see it? Uh, our friend here from Indonesia is very excited because a lot of Indonesian are leaving Islam because we are teaching them how stupid Muhammad is. Alright? Okay, wonderful. Thank you. But there's no need to repeat, my friend. Uh, everyone can see what is behind them when they turn their head. Uh. <laughs> you stupid Fatima. When you turn your head, you are not seeing your behind no more. <laughs> you are seeing your front. <laughs> and nobody can turn his head 180 degree, can you? <laughs> Make a selfie of yourself, Fatima. You must, you must, you must be a lizard. <laughs> You can turn your head back all the way and see your back. I never, I never heard of such a thing. You must be a snake, maybe. I don't know what you are talking about. <laughs> this is how a Muslim he tried to fix the stupidity of their prophet and his false claims. So the prophet he used to turn his back, his face back. Hello, nobody can turn his face back. What are you talking about? You have to turn your body with it. And if you turn your body, well, this is not your back no more. And remember here, Muhammad is speaking about himself praying 
He cannot move. He is praying. And they are praying. So he has fixed feet. He has fixed direction in front of him. And he is not even allowed to turn his back or his, his, his face back. So a nice attempt to explain the stupidity of your prophet saying things which is false and funny and dummy. Uh, Bible, Kika, divine, uh, everything the Christians they believe is a pagan. Well, obviously you are a stupid idiot because you don't know what pagan is. Pagan is to believe in someone is not God as God. Uh, like an idol, you know, we don't worship idols. We believe in the living Messiah and even the Muhammadan, they believe he is alive. 